Okay, happy Sunday morning. Lindsay McCoy here with my Sunday coffee mug. I'm gonna have to pour a warm up because this is cold coffee. It's a rule. I don't drink coffee cold if it's cold outside. <laughs> Unlike some coworkers I have behind the scenes. <laughs> okay, so do you like your coffee hot or cold? That's the big debate this morning here in our studio. Uh, good morning to you. Hopefully you're joining us from somewhere nice and cozy like your living room and you're nice and warm because it is a really cold start. Um, this is the second day in a row I had to use my heater in my car on the way here. My SUV, whatever. I don't really drive a car, I drive an SUV because it snows here all the time. Yeah, us Northeast Ohio natives, we know how it goes. So hopefully we don't have that four letter word in our newscast anytime soon. Can't promise any others. But uh, okay, so coming up on the show this morning, we're gonna talk a little bit about the local wine industry. Apparently the tariffs are having a huge impact on this. We didn't know until this week when someone mentioned that this is a huge problem for prices. So I don't know if it's passing on to the consumers as much as it is to the local merchants and the local vinters, that's what they're called. Uh, so we're gonna talk to someone who's really well known in the area about that. Also, we are diving deep into the debate this week over those dreaded masks. I know I don't like wearing them as much as you do. Um, so hopefully, uh, we can just get a little bit more information on the new drug that they're working on at UPMC, not very far away from here, and see how that could work versus the vaccine. Also, masks versus vaccine. The debate continues, but we are getting some new information from the Southern Hemisphere. Now, the Southern Hemisphere uh, records their data on the flu season, and we kind of look at them for a gauge to see and expect what we can have here in the Northeast and um, in the Northern Hemisphere, especially here in the US. So when we look at the data over the years in reporting, I've learned that that is kind of like our gauge. It's not always a, a telltale sign, but it's possibly an indicator. So we're gonna learn a little bit more about that with a member of our team of coronavirus experts. I know you don't wanna talk about coronavirus all the time, but we do have to keep you guys informed. So that's kind of one of the ones I thought was really important, especially that drug that they're working on that could pro possibly prevent COVID-19 anyway. So that's kind of cool that we're working on that, not very far away from here. Oh, the latest political news, if you follow me, you know I've got all that going on. So we've got a lot of local news, a lot of political news, a lot of um, fun times to be had. So we're gonna show a cool place where you can take your family this weekend, or you can go with maybe someone special, something cool to enjoy this fall. Maybe, uh, if you could share on this Facebook Live a cool place that you've been lately or that you want to go for the fall. I took my daughter to an apple orchard recently, so that was really fun. I hadn't been in a long time. We read a book about pumpkins and then we went and saw the pumpkins and saw the apples on the trees and had apple cider. And it just took me back to when I was little and it was just so fun. Oh, we gotta do it more. So I can't wait to just have a few more fun times before you know the weather turns and I love fall I'm starting to see the leaves change it's so beautiful it's my favorite season ever so um, yeah I just can't wait and hopefully you're the same way so good morning to you and uh, let's see here let me know where you're watching from and if you like your coffee hot or cold again that's our big debate this morning I'm a hot coffee person most of the time all right I'll see you guys in literally less than a minute I gotta go <laughs>